Well, we told you at five about Henry Ford Health System launching the local phase three trial of the Moderna coronavirus vaccine. Well, another vaccine with ties to Michigan is also ready for wide scale testing. Pfizer announced it is now recruiting 30,000 people in the U.S. and elsewhere to study the effectiveness of its vaccine. Graduate student David Rock participated in Pfizer's earlier trial of the vaccine. He was vaccinated in early May at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. It's exciting. It's exciting from the side of a participant. It's exciting from the side of a graduate student who's studying immunology. And it's also exciting that it's hopefully the promise of a vaccine by next year and life returning to a semblance of normal. That early trial found the vaccine stimulated antibodies in those vaccinated at rates equal to or higher than those who've had the disease. There's also a component of relief saying that it's actually producing results, that the vaccine is producing antibodies. The initial U.S. production of the vaccine is taking place at Pfizer's manufacturing plant in Kalamazoo County. In addition to continuing to study safety, the phase three trials will determine if the vaccine actually protects people against becoming infected by the coronavirus. David still doesn't know for sure if he got the actual vaccine or the placebo saline solution. But since he had a slight reaction to his second dose, he's convinced he is one of the very few people in the world vaccinated against the coronavirus. I joke with my friends, I'm not going around licking doorknobs just to prove that it actually does work or it doesn't work. Licking doorknobs. Well, Pfizer will test its vaccine in the U.S. and other countries, including Argentina, Brazil and Germany. Testing it in communities with higher rates of spread, they say, is key to determining its effectiveness.